everyone, it is Claire from Eclair Makery and today I am going to be showing you guys how to do the bobble stitch. This stitch is one of my all-time favorite stitches. It creates this, these adorable little bobbles and they are a great way to add texture to garments. I've used them in almost all of my um, designs recently. I love them so much and they are super easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. I have here a J six millimeter crochet hook. This is a furls crochet hook. And then I have some worsted weight yarn from Mary Maxim here. And so I will go ahead and get started on this. How you start your um, bobble stitches is you want to chain in even increments. So I am going to chain um, 18 here. And when you chain in these increments, what you want to do is you do them in even ones because you have to do a bobble stitch and then a double crochet stitch after each one. So here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen stitches. And then what I will do is I am going to skip to the third chain from my hook and this is going to count, this will be my first double crochet, and this chain two space that you have right here does not count as a stitch in this case. Then in order to do the bobble stitch, you will yarn over, and it's essentially a double crochet stitch without having um, just one post here. And so you'll yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, and pull through those first two loops, and then you'll see you've got this little post right here. And then you're going to do that same thing again, yarn over, insert through that same loop, yarn over, pull through that loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Now you'll have three on your hook. So you're going to do this same process, repeating this till you have a total of six loops on your hook and basically you're just doing the first half of a double crochet stitch and then once you have your six loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all of the loops that were on your hook and this will give you your first bobble and it will puff out like that and other similar stitches that look like this are puff stitches or popcorn stitches, um, but bobbles look like that. Then you'll double crochet in the next stitch. And then you can do another bobble in the next one if you'd like. So you yarn over, insert into that first loop, yarn over, pull through, and then you will yarn over, pull through those two loops. And do that same thing again, just like that, till you get six loops on your crochet hook. Got five there. Okay, just like that, pull through, and now you've got two bobbles that you have done. And you just keep repeating this same process all the way across by doing a double crochet and then the bobble stitch after that. So you are just doing pairs basically of those two stitches till you get to the end of your work. And you can use these bobble stitches in, um, you can do just single ones, you can do rows of them, um, really you can use it in anything that you want. And so then we'll pull through all of those loops there. Now we've got three. So on my swatch here, you'll see that I just have rows of bobble stitches here. So when I do my row of bobble stitches, it's a bobble stitch, a double crochet, bobble, double crochet. And then on the next row, I start with a bobble stitch and then do a double crochet. 
bobble, double crochet, bobble, double crochet, bobble, double crochet, all the way to the end and end on a double crochet. And then you'll just repeat this second row all the way to get to whatever size of square or piece you want. But if you're just doing um, like a single bobble stitch, I'll show you on this piece here. So you could do just a couple double crochets across and then maybe you decide, oh, I think I want to add a bobble stitch to give this piece some texture. Then you can just add a bobble stitch in there. I do this a lot. I'll just throw in a bobble stitch to add a piece of texture to my garment designs and it looks really nice. And then, so you can just pop it in there. And so that's what it'll look like with more spaced out double from uh, the previous bobbles. But you can just throw it in there and it'll look great. And that is how you do the bobble stitch. Can't wait to see what you guys make.